In this video, we're going to go through how to configure and run an air quality auto test. I'll begin by tapping on the auto test application from the home screen. This displays the auto test profile group screen. The auto test will evaluate the health of the Wi Fi airspace based on several metrics. These include channel utilization, co channel interference, and adjacent channel interference. Depending on the test tool capabilities, these metrics will be collected for the 2.4, 5, and 6 GHz bands. When you open the Auto Test app for the first time, default Auto Tests will be present, depending on the device you're using. In this case, I'm using an EtherScope NXG, so we see tests for wired, wireless, and air quality. Since this video is focused on the air quality auto test, I'll remove the wireless and wired profiles. This is accomplished by tapping on the settings icon and unchecking those auto tests. Additional profiles may be added by tapping on the action button in the lower right corner and selecting the type of profile. I'll tap on the arrow button at the bottom of the screen to go back to the auto test screen. To configure the air quality auto test, I will tap on the test. Next, I'll tap on the settings icon in the upper right corner of the screen. Here, I can configure the thresholds for the air quality auto test. I can give the air quality auto test a descriptive name. This is useful when creating thresholds that are unique to a specific environment. The auto test profile will be saved under this name, allowing me to have multiple air quality auto tests to choose from when testing. Channel scan cycles sets the number of times the test tool will cycle through the channels. Setting the value to more than one ensures the test tool discovers as many devices on each channel as possible. The AP signal level threshold sets the minimum signal level for an AP to be included in the test. Any APs with a signal less than this value will be excluded from the test results. The grading section is where we can set the thresholds for each test. Each section may be enabled or disabled using the switch next to the test name. For each test, a warning threshold and error threshold may be set. Let's look at each of the tests. 802.11 Utilization evaluates the utilization on each channel generated by 802.11 devices. This provides a means to determine if one channel is being overutilized while another is being underutilized. Default warning and error thresholds have been provided. You may adjust these thresholds based on your Wi-Fi design and needs. Non-802.11 utilization measures the utilization on each channel that is not 802.11 traffic. This is caused by devices such as microwave ovens, Bluetooth devices, wireless cameras, and other non-Wi-Fi devices that use the 2.4 and 5 GHz bands. High non-802.11 utilization may cause degraded performance for your Wi-Fi devices. Co-channel interference measures the number of access points that are sharing the same channel. Too many access points sharing the same channel will create contention for the channel and degrade performance. Here you may set the number of APs that trigger a warning or an error. I'm going to enable adjacent channel interference. This test measures the number of APs that are on adjacent overlapping channels. An example would be if you had APs on channel 1 and your neighbor had APs on channel 2. Since the only non-overlapping channels in the 2.4 GHz band are 1, 6, and 11, the APs on channel 2 would cause adjacent channel interference. Now that I've enabled the tests I want to run and set the thresholds, I'll tap the back arrow at the bottom of the screen to go back to the air quality auto test screen. I'll tap start at the top of the screen to begin the test. While the test is running, the test tool is scanning through all the channels taking the measurements. The measurements for each channel are displayed on the screen, as well as being compared to the thresholds for each test. At the completion of the test, the overall result is displayed at the bottom of the screen. In this case, I can see the test was successful. If there were any warnings or errors, the result would show thresholds exceeded, and the tests that exceeded the thresholds would be indicated by yellow or red dots. If the test tool has been claimed a link live, the results of the test will automatically be uploaded and available for view.